are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Welcome everyone. I'm Evangelist Rebecca Noel. I'm just here to talk about preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's about to come back. Just like he said, he was going to prepare mansions for us. And then he'll come back and meet with us in the sky. And we'll go with him and be partakers of the marriage feast that has been prepared for us in heaven. That which he said is about to happen. Our Lord Jesus Christ is about to come back. Heaven is ready for the coming of the Lord. They've done all they were supposed to do. They are just waiting for the day because they don't know the day. We don't know the day here on earth when he will, come in, when he will be coming back. Only the Father knows the date, the day and the time of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. But the things that the Lord Jesus Christ told us when he was here on earth that would happen towards the end, we, have, we are now seeing them. We have just started seeing, most of them have just started. I'll give you an example of like in Southern Africa, there never used to be tornadoes, tornadoes but now there's like tornadoes, not tsunamis, you name it. There's destruction that water is, is causing now in Southern Africa that never used to be the same in the past. But because we are now living towards the end of the age, we have got tsunamis everywhere. If you go back to history, you find that they, were, they never to, used to be tsunamis, but now they are everywhere. Everything is increasing. Why? Because we are living towards the end of the age. And then at the end, on that day, that which he said, that no stone will be left unturned, will happen. It is now clear. I didn't know before, but now I know it's now clear, as clear as it is, it, as it can be. It's going to happen. No stone will be left unturned. Everything will be turned upside down. So it is time for us to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord, because whether we like it or not, we are living at the end of the age. Even if you look at it from the scientific way, view, view, point of view, you find that they are talking about climate, global warming, climate change. All, everything is pointing towards a point where everything will come to an end. But we know that when, when everything comes to the end, that's when the Lord will be coming back. It is the end of the age. So we are living towards the end of the age. We have got to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord because the end of the age will be marked by the appearance of the Lord. Rabbi is about to come back. Any day, any moment, any time soon, he can appear in the sky. Rabbi but are we ready to, to go with him? Have we done what, is, what will cause us to be able to go with him on that day? Because it's not everyone that says, I'm a Christian, I'm a born again, or they say, Jesus, Jesus, will be able to go with him on that day. Only those that do what is right before him will be able to go with him. Before we look, you know, for you to be able to go with him on that day, there are two things that you need to prepare, your appearance and your heart. Your appearance has got to be right. There are certain standards that you have got to, to, to meet. And your heart has got to be right. There are certain standards that you have got to meet in your heart as well. You cannot be keeping malice in your heart, unforgiveness in your heart, jealous in your heart, wickedness, evil in your heart. And then you expect to go with him on that day. It's not possible. Or you die before he comes. He tarries and you die. You expect to go to heaven when you have got jealous in you, malice in you, backbiting in you, wickedness in you, covetousness in you. It's not possible. You have got to prepare your heart, and you have got to prepare your appearance. Before we go to the heart, the heart is the second part. The, the first point that we have to prepare is the appearance, the way we appear. There are certain set standards, certain things that we have got to do or have on us or remove from us so that we appear like children of God. So that when they see us, they know, yes, this one is a child of God. And then they say, if the Lord appears today, I think this one will go just from their appearance before you even talk to them, before you even know what is in their heart. Because we don't know what is in their hearts. Only God knows what is in their heart. But from their appearance, appearance, we can see and we can tell whether this one is a candidate for heaven or a candidate for hell. Or whether they'll be able to go with the Lord on that day or they cannot go with the Lord on that day simply from the appearance. 
Because there are certain standards that are set. It's not me saying so. I'm only here to deliver what the word is saying. My own part is to say what the word is saying. And then I'm done. Whether people will do it or they will not do it, it, it has got nothing to do as long as I've said it. I will not add to it and I will not move from it because it's not my word. It is the word of the Lord, what it is saying. So the Bible tells us in Hosea 2, verse 2 says, I'm, I'm reading from the Living Translation. New Living Translation says, But now bring, bring charges against Israel, your mother. She's no longer my wife. And I am no longer her husband. Tell her to remove her. Tell her to remove the prostitutes. The prostitutes make up from her face and the clothing that exposes her breast. So the Bible is telling us our, about our parents, women. Make up. The Bible is telling us to remove it and the cloth, clothing that exposes our, our breast. It's not me saying so. It's Hosea 2 verse 2. He's talking about the makeup that the women are putting on. And without your makeup, you cannot enter heaven. If our Lord Jesus Christ appears today, any woman with their makeup cannot go with the Lord. Why? Because of their appearance, because of the makeup. And as long as the Bible says we should not do such a thing and we do it, we cannot enter heaven. Because if we want to enter heaven or to go with the Lord on that day, we've got to follow what the Bible says. Once it is in the Bible, it is written, it is final. And anyone that goes opposite to it cannot enter heaven. So when the Bible is saying in Hosea 2, verse 2, it is saying remove make, make up. And it is saying don't expose your breasts. We, have, we should cover up our breasts. We should not be exposing our breasts if we want to go with the Lord on that day. Or when we die, if we want to enter heaven, the moment we walk around with our breath showing, we cannot enter heaven. The other version says it is adultery on your, on your, on your, on your breast when you, when you expose your breast when you dress, it is adultery. Of course, it is adultery. We don't reduce it to, to fornication, it's not adultery, it's not fornication. In case you say I'm single, so it's fornication, it's not fornication, it is adultery because adultery is when a, a married person sleeps around with other men or other women. So once you are walking around with your, with your, with your breast exposed, you are committing adultery. Adultery. Why? Because every man that will see your, those, your breasts, you are committing adultery with them. And you are not married to them. Only a, a man that you are married to is supposed to see your breasts. But every man is seeing your breasts. Therefore, you are committing adultery with every man that sees your breasts, that you are walking around exposed. Yet you are supposed to cover up. Rabbi Akosa, it is time to change our ways. You even see some women exposing their breasts, even in church. You see them wearing miniskirts even in church. And then they say they want to go to heaven when they die, but they are wearing miniskirts exposing all their bodies, or they wear clothes that are so tight. At times you wonder if they, you wonder how they manage to put it on because it is too tight. And you see them even in church wearing such tight dresses or such tight trousers or short miniskirts. It's not of God. That sort of appearance will cause us to be unable to go with the Lord on that day. If we want to go with the Lord on that day, it is time to change our ways so that we appear right before him. So that he will be happy with us. Before he goes on to, 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 to look at what is in our hearts, if we qualify to enter heaven because of what is in our hearts, from the appearance alone, we are doing what the Bible says we should do. Where the Bible says remove your makeup, we have removed our makeup. Where it says remove you, don't put on your cover up your breast, we are covering up our breast, as is stated in Hosea 2.2. 2. Because it is what the Bible says that, that they use to judge us when we die. It's not what we don't know. It's not what is not written down, but it is all there, it is all written down. But we, we choose to do what is wrong. We have got to keep the commandments, the judgments, and the statutes of the Lord as is stated in the Bible. Just like Hosea 2.2 2 is saying that we should not be putting on makeup if we, were, we have been putting on makeup, we have got to remove it and stop putting on the makeup. I am one person, one of the people that used to put on makeup, but from the moment it was revealed to me that I should not be doing so, I stopped. So we've got to change our ways so that our appearance is, is good before the Lord, so that when he, when he comes on that day, we can go with him. 
if he appears today and you are dressed and you are showing your breasts, you cannot go with him on that day. If he appears and you have got your makeup on, you cannot go with him on that day. Why? Because of Hosea 2, verse 2. The Bible tells us as well in 2 Timothy 1, 2 Timothy 2, 9 says, Likewise, I want women to, to adorn themselves with proper clothing, modestly and distinctly, not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly garments. Rabbi Akosa, the Bible is talking against braided hair. But most of us have got braided hair. It doesn't matter whether it is braids or weave on or whatever type of fake hair it is. A braided hair, hair here simply represents fake hair, hair that is not your own. It's not me that wrote this Bible. It was Paul who wrote this. You can imagine that during the time of Paul, I don't think they were braiding hair in, in Israel. Because, but Paul wrote about braided hair because he knew that the time was going to come when people left braided hair. And he knew the Lord revealed it to him that it was not of God and people should not be doing so. And he wrote it down for us, braided hair, 2 Timothy 2.9. We should not be putting on braided hair, fake hair, whatever type of fake hair it is. It's not of God and the Bible says we should not put it on. It, 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 it mentions gold and pearls. All those gold and pearls that put, people put on, it doesn't matter whether the gold and pearls is the hairpins you put on your hair, or it's your earrings, your jewelry, your necklace, whatever it is, your rings on, the, on them, on your fingers, on your tongue, or whatever it is, on your tummy. All that all gold and all those pearls is not of God. The Bible says we should not be putting them on according to 2 Timothy 2.9. The moment we start putting them on, God is not happy with us. Our appearance alone is not good for us. When he looks at us from the way we look, we cannot enter heaven. We cannot go with the Lord on that day. Why? Because we, 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 dis we chose to use fake hair or braided hair. We chose to use the gold and the pearls. We, we adorned ourselves with every ring, in whatever it is called, earring, Whatever it is called, from the legs on the toes, you have got rings. On your fingers, you have got five rings. On your neck, you have got a necklace. But the Bible says we should not be doing so. The moment we decide to do so, God is not happy with us. So that from just from, from your appearance alone, before God goes on to look at your heart, you have failed. Simply because we have done what the Bible says we should not be doing. Whether the Bible says we should not be wearing gold, we should not be wearing pearls, we should not be wearing, putting on makeup, we should not be using fake hair, we are doing all that. And most of us, we are doing it because we don't know. That is why I'm here just to talk about it, so that those that do not know, will know, and then it will be up to them to decide. Because some of them have made up their mind that they want to put on their makeup, their earrings, and their, their jewelry. And they want to use their fake hair, so they don't care when they die that they will go to hell or to, to go and burn in fire forever. They don't care about that. They say they've made up their mind, but it is up to them. It has got to be said for them to know, so that if they make up their mind and say they don't care, they are ready to go and burn forever, they can go and burn forever. So that when they put on their makeup and they put on their jewelry, they do so, knowing that they are putting on what will take them to hell. So that when they find themselves in hell, they will not wonder why they are in hell. They will know that they are in hell because of the jewelry, because of the makeup. Because of exposing their breasts when they, were, when they were walking around at work or in church. And they did it without knowing that it was because of that that they, they, they were going to go to hell. So I'm, I'm here to bring it out in case you were walking around exposing your breasts. That you, you walking around exposing your breasts will take you to hell. Putting on your makeup. I don't know how many hours it takes you to put on that makeup. But when, when you do so, Remember that, that your makeup will take you to hell. Rabbi Akosa, God will not come with a stick and beat you up that, and ask you, why are you putting on makeup? He will not do so, but on that day, you find yourself in hell. I don't know how many hours you go to the saloon and wait to have your hair done. 
And then after waiting two, three hours for them to do your hair, they will take eight hours to do your hair, 12 hours you are in a saloon to do your hair. After you've done your hair, or those 12 hours when you're in the saloon, remember that this your hair that you are taking 12 hours to do will take you to hell. You are just preparing your flesh to go and burn in hell. You, when you do your makeup, you put on your makeup, you use your fake, uh, your cream to make your skin fake, to make it lighter than the Lord made you. When you do so, just know that you are preparing yourself to, for hell. You are preparing your, your, your flesh to go and burn in hell. And the fire in hell is waiting for that, your flesh, to burn it and burn it and burn it, simply because you decided to apply makeup to it, and you decided to use fake hair on it, and you decided to use cream to make it lighter than the way the Lord made you. Because in heaven, they don't know you with your makeup on. They don't know you with, with fake hair. They don't know you with all that jewelry. They know you the way the Lord made you naturally. When you don't have makeup on, you don't have fake hair on. Rabbi Akosa, you don't have fake skin from cream. That's how they know you. So when you turn up with your fake skin from the cream that you used, or you turn up with your makeup on, maybe you died in an accident with makeup on, and then you turn up without your makeup on, the heaven will not recognize you. You cannot enter. Rabbi Akosa, only those that look natural, natural, the way the Lord made them, can enter heaven. Before we go on to looking at what is in their hearts. So we've got to prepare ourselves. Live knowing that certain things that we are doing, our appearance, will disqualify us from entering heaven. It is only those whose appearance qualifies them that can enter heaven. It doesn't matter how good your heart is. As long as you have got what, what disqualifies you from entering heaven, you cannot enter. It doesn't matter even if you give all your wealth, you have got billions, you have got millions, you give all those to, to the poor people, you do what is right in any, any other way, but as long as your appearance is not right before the world, you cannot enter heaven. Rabbi Akosa, first part is all about your appearance. Before we go on to the second part, about your heart. So we have got to make sure that our appearance qualifies us to enter heaven or to go with the Lord on that day. Because that day is coming. When the Lord will come back again, Rabbi Akosa, so time to change is now and but time is running out. It, the door will close. It, it, it will get to a point where the Lord will say, enough is enough. The books are, are getting closed. So if you change your mind after that time, you cannot go. Because you have those whose names are already in the books only will go with him on that day. So it is time to change our ways and live knowing that we are living at the end of the age. So we've got to do what is right before the Lord so that our appearance will not disqualify us from going with him on that day. Rabbi Akosa, the Bible tells us in Deuteronomy 22, 5, it says, A woman shall not wear men's clothing, nor shall a man put on woman's clothing. For whoever does these, does these things is an abomination to the Lord your God. Rabbi Akosa, so if you are a woman and you, you wear trousers, you cannot enter heaven. Rabbi Akosa, it doesn't matter that you are a Christian or how long you have been a Christian. How long you served in the house of the Lord or what you are doing in the house of the Lord. As long as you are wearing what belongs to a man, a trousers, you cannot enter heaven. It doesn't matter where you wear the trousers. Whether you wear it outside and walk or you go to church or you go to work wearing the trousers or you wear it in your house and you think no one is, is seeing you. You say, I'm on my own now, I'm in my house, I, I can wear my trousers. As long as you, wear, you put on your trousers and you are a woman, you cannot enter heaven. And as long as you are a man and you wear dresses made for women, you cannot enter heaven. Rabbi Akosa, your appearance will disqualify you. Before they look at anything else and they see you, you are a woman, you are wearing a trousers, no heaven for you. Rabbi Akosa, it doesn't matter what is in your heart. There's no need to go and look at your heart because your appearance alone, that your trousers alone is, disqualifies you. At times the trousers is even too tight causing men to commit sin in their hearts when they look at you and then you expect to go with the Lord on that day or to enter heaven on the day you die, it's not possible simply because of your appearance. Rabbi Akosa, you are a woman put on what was made for women. You are a man put on what was made for men. Because the Bible is written, it's final and it's complete. God will not go against his word and change his, his word because of you 
on the day you die, if all that has that died before you, the women went to hell, and you think you are the, one, the first one, that on the day you die, they will change and say, only you can enter heaven. Yet the rest that died before you, billions and billions, went to hell because of wearing trousers. It's not possible. You will join them in hell, and you find yourself burning in hell simply because of wearing a trousers, yet you are a woman. It is time to change our ways and go back to what the word is saying. The word is against the wearing of trousers by we women. And all those women that wear trousers, they cannot enter heaven, no matter what comes. Rain or thunder, they cannot enter heaven because of their appearance. The moment a woman appears wearing a trousers and they are dead today, and they want to enter heaven, they cannot enter heaven. Even if they die wearing a dress on that day, but because they've got trousers, they've been wearing trousers, they cannot enter. Because every time you wear that your trousers, it is recorded. You cannot hide from the Lord. Whenever you put on your trousers, you put on your makeup, you put on your, your, your jewelry, it is recorded, it is known. So even if you die, you were in hospital three months, you were not wearing trousers. When you were in hospital, you were not putting on makeup. But before you went into hospital, you were putting all those on. When you die, you go to hell. The Bible tells us in, in Genesis 29, 20 says, So Jacob saved seven years for, for Rachel, and they seemed to him but a few days because of his love for her. Appearance. Do you appear with a spouse in public that you, are, you have been living with, but you are not married? Dowry was not paid. Rabbi Akosa, it will cause you to go to hell. Rabbi Akosa, it is against what the Bible is saying. Jacob saved seven years for Rachel, and then he saved seven years again for Leah. So Jacob paid dowry. So every man, he has got to pay dowry. He cannot just live with a woman without paying dowry. And Jacob did not touch Rachel before the seven years. He paid first, then he had Rachel as a wife after paying. Most of us, we want to have the woman have children first before you pay. That is not right. We've got to go back to the word and learn from what the word is saying. Jacob paid seven years, waited seven years, paying dowry. So we have got to be paying, you have got to pay dowry. Whether you are a woman, if your if dowry has not been paid for you, you cannot enter heaven. Why? Because dowry was not paid for you. If you are a man, he did not pay dowry, you cannot enter heaven. Why? Because he did not pay dowry. Because Jacob paid dowry. So the Bible goes back to the fact that Jacob paid dowry. If you fail to pay dowry, you cannot enter heaven. On the day the Lord appears, you cannot go with him. Why? Because of dowry. We have got to change our ways and do what is right for the Lord. In any way, we have been living together, cohabiting. If you die today, you cannot enter heaven no matter how good your heart is, no matter how good your appearance is, but because dowry was not paid for you or you did not pay dowry, you cannot enter heaven. Even if you have been paying the Lord, serving the Lord in the house of the Lord, doing whatever, the Lord has been using you to do whatever, it doesn't matter. On that day, you cannot enter heaven. If the Lord appears today, you cannot go with him. Why? Because of dowry. So we've got to change our ways. The Bible tells us in 1 Timoth 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5. Um, okay, I'll read 1 to 4. But realize that in the last days, difficult times will come. For men will be lovers of self, of self lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, revilers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy. I don't know whether you're a lover of money or, or, or not. The way you appear. Do you appear like someone who is a lover of money? Rabbi Akosa, do you, are you after money? When you talk to people, all you talk about is it money. Are you one of those people that fail to go to church on Sunday because of money? You choose to go and work on Sunday and you say they pay you more on Sunday. Do you appear like a person that loves God more or you appear like a person that loves man more? Which side are you on? Are you on the side of God or are you, or you are on the side of man? If you, are, if you are one of those lovers of money, you cannot enter heaven. Rabbi Akosa, only those that are lovers of God will enter heaven. So which side are you on? Are you on the side of the Lord? 
Do you love the Lord with all your heart? Or, or, or you're on the side of money? You love money with all your heart? You do anything to get money? You, keep, you kill people to get money? You lie against people to get money? You fight against people to get money? You, sh you tarnish people's names? You do what every evil thing to them because you want money? You don't care about anything else except money? You are a lover of money? You appear as a lover of men money? People know you for ma loving money? I'm sorry to say on the day you die, you cannot enter heaven. Or if the Lord appears today, you cannot enter heaven because of the love of man that is in you. It's not me saying so. It's First Timothy 3, 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5. It talks about lovers of men, people who are boastful, arrogant, children that do not respect their parents. You cannot enter heaven and you cannot go with the Lord on that day. Why? Because of your appearance. It is time to change our ways. In any way, you've been putting on your makeup, you've been put, putting on your trousers as a woman. You've been putting on jewelry and you, you, you use fake hair. It's time to say no to all that. If your target is heaven or going with the Lord on that day, it is time to change our ways, our appearance, the way we appear before the Lord so that we can go with him on that day since we are living at the end of the age. Thank you so much for watching. May the Lord bless you richly. May he do what only he can do in your life. May he level every mountain and fill up every valley that you have been facing. May he wipe off your tears and answer you before you even call. May he do the impossible in your lives. May he open doors for you that no man can close. May he touch you and meet you at the point of your need. May he do what only he can do in your lives. May he accelerate you and for first word you in a way that no man can understand. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God.